Hey everybody, Tron Crusher here. I hope you guys have a fantastic day full of joy and happiness. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to make an assault rifle tier list for Escape from Tarkov. I already did an assault carbine tier list, and I'm going to link that in the description if you want to check that out. Also, if you want to have any more information on any of these guns by itself or to see a build that I suggest you use it, you can find those in my rat gun series and I'm going to link that as well in the description if you want to check that out. So without further ado, let's crush it. First gun we have is AS Val. That goes right to A tier for me here. Uh, and that's because it's not a budget gun, it's actually an expensive gun to run, but with the high fire rate, uh, hard hitting ammo like SP5, SP6, SPP, BP, doesn't matter what you use, they all have decent penetration and really good damage. You can bring people down really fast in close quarters, short ranges, and medium range engagements. Next gun we have is ash 12 that actually goes to b tier for me and the only reason for that is it's really hard to get the ps12 b right now the only way to get it is to craft it and that takes 14 15 hours and it's really expensive and it only gives you 80 round beside that if it was easier to get the ps12 b faster and uh, more reliably this gun would be in a or even s tier and next gun is going to be Mark 47. We're gonna put that right in the A tier for me. Um, 7.62 by 39, great round, especially with addition of the 7.62 by 39 PP. Uh, more people gonna run this uh, caliber, and this is a great gun, and that shows it with being part of the meta and every single vibe since this gun got added to the game and that's several wipes ago I think this gun got added to the game like three or four wipes ago and every single wipe is part of the meta after that we have the M4A1 that goes right to the S tier for me and probably for you it's just a staple of the uh, Tarkov meta basically M4 it's always a great gun especially with the buff to the uh, recoil uh, system right now it's just better then we have SA-58. This gun, I love this gun, but there is few problems with it. This gun used to be meta like five wipes ago and they nerfed it down to the ground. You cannot build a good SA-58 with a good recoil and decent ergonomics. Either your recoil gonna be bad and ergonomics good or your ergonomics gonna be sh and the uh, recoil be pretty good. Then we have the MDR556 that goes right to the B tier for me one of the best uh, budget 556 guns you can get and everybody likes this gun uh, it's just a middle ground gun it sits right in the middle of the patch after that we have the MDR762 that goes right to the A tier for me it's hard to get your hands on it's expensive but it's one of the few choices that you have for 308 full auto and it's a pretty decent one if you have the money to spend on it and the next gun we have is a scar light or mark 16 that goes right to the b tier and sits right by the mdr if you haven't watched my um rat gun series on these two guns in the rat gun series i also said these two guns are really similar a scar l is a little bit better because it's more moddable but next gun is a Scar H, Scar Heavy or Mark 17 and that goes right to the S tier for me. Uh, it's just one of the better guns in the game. It's the best full auto 308 you can have. It's moddable uh, with a really decent ergonomics and very good recoil control and a really easy to handle recoil pattern. Then we have the HK416, it goes to the C tier for me, uh, it used to be one of the better meta guns and it was always uh, really close to M4A1, but um, with changes to the recoil, with changes to 
uh, the availability of the mods. Uh, right now, the only way to run the HK is the full meta, which costs you around three to 400,000 rubles to build it, and still is not as good as M4. Then we have HK G36. This is another uh, budget 556 here, and that goes with the other two in the B tier. It's the middle of the pack. Uh, it, it sits a little bit lower than MDR and Scar L for sure. It's not as good as those two. With that said, the next gun is also a 556 gun, and that is AK 101, uh, another budget 556 platform gun. But this one, in my opinion, is better than all the other ones because you just can use all of the uh, AK mods and it's so cheap to build it. Then we have the AK-102. Uh, it's under 5.56 gone. That goes to the C tier for me. I do not like the short uh, versions of the AKs. I don't know why you should even use it because of the recoil it's just much worse it's cost the same then we have the ak-103 that goes to the b tier for me uh it's uh okay gun um it, it, it's nothing specific and special in the 762 caliber there's much better guns in the 762 caliber if you want to use it on the other hand ak-104 is the short version of ak-103 these are the modernized ak's but i don't like it it's short with the 762 recoil it just doesn't work it. you cannot mod it that good to get it really low next is ak-105 that's another short version of the AK. This time it's in uh, 5.45 caliber. At this point, you already know we have AK 102, 104, and 105 all in the C tier. It's not a good gun. Uh, I would run something else if I even want to run a 5.45 caliber. Next gun is AK 12. Uh, sadly, I have to put this gun in C tier. Uh, I was so hyped when they were adding this gun to the game. I love AK-12. It's one of my favorite guns in real life and in the, any of the other games besides Escape from Tarkov. Uh, it's just a bad feeling gun. After having a bunch of the C tier guns, the time is for AK-74 and AK-74N. This one goes right to the S tier for me. Uh, it's the best 545 gun that you can run. Uh, basically, AK-74 and AK-74N are the same thing, just the N variant. You can put the uh, dovetail mount on it and the normal variant you cannot. So I just put them as the same gun. Next gun is AKS-74 and AKS-74N. This goes to the C tier for me. This is same as AK-74 and AK-74N. Uh, the only difference is the uh, collapsible stock. And with that, um, you add the restriction to your uh, changing your stock and modding your stock. And just you cannot get as good of recoil or as good of ergonomics on this gun. After that, we have AKM and AKM. And same thing here again, these are the same guns, just the AKMN has the ability to run the uh, dovetail sights on it, but AKM does not. This gun is a great gun. How early you can get this gun? With the 762 caliber, uh, it's just a better AK-103. After that, we have AKMS and AKMNS. This is the AKM and AKMN with the collapsible stock, uh, same problem, uh, you have the collapsible stock, you cannot change your stock and you're stuck with that, uh, no pun intended, uh, but it, it's just doesn't let you to fully utilizing the god. With that said, we have AKS-74U and AKS-74UN and there's another variant, I, can, I think it's AKS-74UB, I think, uh, but uh, with that said, this is another really good 545 gun in the game. Uh, you for sure know how Landmark built this uh, weird looking one with the voodoo sight on top of it, uh, with the waffle suppressor and it was a laser beam. Next gun is going to be RD704, the reason that Mark 47 went to the A tier. 
uh, Mar uh, the RD704 is just a better Mark 47. It's cheaper to buy, cheaper to mod, with better ergonomics and better stats. Then we have the MCX. This is a 300 blackout gun uh, in the game, and it's the only one that uses that caliber. It's a great gun. It's really close to M4, um, and 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 that's basically it. It's not as versatile as M4, so you can. It's not that great for longer ranges, but close to medium and short ranges, it's the same thing as M4. It's just with the different caliber. Next gun is going to be AUG A1. This deserves the F tier. Uh, the AUG itself is not a bad gun. But AUG A1, uh, you cannot change the scope on it, so you are stuck with that 1.5 uh, really bad scope and uh, not much of modability, and it's basically useless. All right, let's do these last three guns. We have the I A3, uh, RPK16, and PKM slash PKP. Uh, this is going to be the controversial one, AUG A3. For me, this gun deserves an A tier. Uh, it's another budget 556 gun, um, and it's as good. I'm not saying it's better than the other ones, is as good as G36, Scar L, and uh, MDR 556, but for cheaper. Next gun, we have the RPK 16. Uh, this is the LMG basically, but I'm putting it in the assault rifle tier list right now, and that goes to the B tier for me. This gun used to be one of the greatest guns ever in Tarkov. Uh, you know, Killa uses it. And uh, right now, between that one and the AK S74U, the baby AK or AK74, I rather use those two because RPK-16 doesn't have that much modability. And lastly, we have the PKM and PKP. That goes right to the FTR for me. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm hurting your feelings, but uh, this gun is just not good. Uh, there's few reasons for it. One, uh, it, it, it's just a shit gun uh, on the ergonomic, on the handling, everything. Uh, there is it's just overkill you don't need a 762 by 54 r 100 round to suppress anybody in the escape from Tarkov you need mobility and this gun takes away all of that for you the second reason you need to go to the streets you need to kill the scav boss get the gun and survive the raid then get it out and use it it's just too much hassle it doesn't worth it. If you want to flex with it and you are that good to go kill Kebon and have uh, plenty of these in your stash, sure, good for you. But for average uh, Tarkov player, that's not going to happen. At the end, thanks for joining me on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Also, ring the bell so you are not missing the future videos. In the comment section, let me know what you think of this tier list and what you would change about it. For more bite-sized contents, check out my TikTok and if you want to stay connected, join my Discord channel. With that, hail to you who support this channel, May Thor watches over you. Until next time, take care, stay awesome, I'll see you in the next one.